Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? It's been two weeks, I know. Whenever I go somewhere, it takes me like two weeks to get back on schedule. And like you saw in our last video, I had gone on six flights in like a week and a half. And it was a lot for me. And guess what? I'm going on a flight tomorrow. <laughs> this is my last trip for a really long time. Don't get me wrong. I love having the opportunity to go places, but it just really disrupts my routine, my everyday. Do I have something in my teeth? I feel like I have something in my teeth. Do you guys, do my teeth look whiter? Look. I went to the dentist and then she gave me these whitening strip thingies that you can only get from the dentist because they have a higher concentration of white stuff in them and I've used them for four days in a row and I feel like they make my teeth really white. But also whenever I wear, oh, what is on my elbow? Why did that feel so squishy? What was that? What was this? What is this called? The thing at the end of your shoelace? It has that weird name. An Ilad, Ilclad. What I was trying to tell you guys is that this weekend is Young LA's block party. This is the first year they're doing it, but they're gonna make it an annual thing and it's a meet and greet plus pop up so that is this weekend that's saturday and sunday i'm for sure going on saturday i'm not sure if i'm going on sunday yet it depends on how i feel just because i don't like i don't like to be away from home that long i really don't but as for today this vlog we're just gonna hang out we're gonna chill you guys are gonna help me pack it's 2 15 right now and i need an energy drink Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much to talk about. You guys know how I started CrossFit, right? So I've been doing CrossFit, or maybe you don't because I haven't been posting on here. How would you know? Oh gosh. So I started doing CrossFit this basically two days after I got back from the Alpha Elite trip and I love it. I was heavily inspired by Gabby Cheyenne who I met there. She told me that she does CrossFit, she loves it. I was a little bored with my regular gym sessions and so I just really wanted to try something new and I did and you guys, I'm so bad at some of it but that's okay because that's what happens when you start something new. I'm just having a great time and I, yeah, I just do the classes right now but I've been learning new things that I've literally never done before. Like I've never done a hang clean or a snatch. I don't even know the names of the other things or a wall lock. We were doing wall locks in class. I have to show you this video. It's so embarrassing, but now I understand how to do it. I was doing it wrong here, but I, I got in the groove of it and I get it. Cause yeah, I can muscle through some of this, but some of it is just technique. And once you get the technique down, you're golden. I go anywhere from like three to four times a week. So I don't even go that often to CrossFit, but then I'm also going to the gym on top of that, just on the days I don't do CrossFit. I've lost seven pounds. I've lost seven pounds in the last two weeks from doing CrossFit and from eating mindfully and going to bed at a normal time. It's crazy. So I'm gonna keep sticking with this because I think I figured the formula out. All right, just gotta do a little bit of editing real quick. Um, I'm actually gonna partly edit this video so we stay on top of it. Remember when Netflix kicked us all out of whoever was paying for Netflix and it wasn't us? I haven't paid for Netflix in a decade. And suddenly I have to pay for Netflix and now my Netflix is all messed up now. I got, it, it thinks I haven't watched shows that I've watched. I've watched all of this. It recommends things. I'm like, please, Netflix, please. I watched this already. <laughs> We're gonna make our bed. Even though it's the end of the day, I gotta make my bed because I need somewhere to put my laundry to fold it. What they don't tell you is that as an adult, it's so hard to make your bed because you gotta run over to each side a million times. Oh, you guys made me ink. You can't see this, but, I, or maybe you can. I stained this pillow blue from when I had blue braids for literally like 10 seconds. I put them in, didn't like them, took them out. I don't know, I didn't resonate with them. I'm almost done. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I'm so sore. My shoulders are sore, my legs are sore, my back is sore, everything's sore. What was I gonna work out? The one thing CrossFit's gonna do for me, I know it's gonna give me big shoulders and I've never had big shoulders. The amount of pressing, oh. I'm about to be kept. I just never had big shoulders in my whole life. I just checked what the workout's gonna be tomorrow for CrossFit. We do a warm up, we do a heavy movement at the beginning. Tomorrow's a power clean. I don't really remember what that is, but they'll tell me tomorrow. And then we're gonna do Mary, an AMRAP in 20 minutes of five handstand push ups. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, a, a easier version of that because I can't do that. Um, 10 pistol squats. Oh, I can do pistol squats. And then 15 pull-ups. 
abs. Ooh, that's exciting. I love this little app because it shows us our workouts for the whole week. Today I didn't go because I had to film things and I was filming content for the Young LA launch, but today is our Metcon day, so it was just cardio. Um, but tomorrow is gonna be exciting. I like to, oh. see, this is what I like. This gets me excited. I feel like I'm back in like high school or college with little, little sports practices. Also, I just talked to my mom on the phone and she said that she noticed that I looked a little slimmer and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> thanks for noticing mom. This literally just goes to show you that you need to find the thing that fits for you because I tried working with two different bodybuilding coaches. I tried eating super strict, super, super strict. And what I realized is that doesn't work for me personally. I've had friends that look amazing with that. Like my friend, Alec, she uh, is a bikini competitor and she just started competing. Like she's very, very new to the sport, um, but she loves it. And I was like, wow, look, she loves it. Maybe I'll love it. I tried it, I didn't love it. I could eat super strict for maybe like a week. Then I'd fall off, then I would binge. And I just like, that wasn't sustainable for me. But now I just feel, like my, I feel like I found my thing and I feel like I found my preferred way to eat. I, I gotta do it what I eat in a day. I found my groove. You threw off my groove, man. I'm restarting Grey's Anatomy right now while I fold my laundry because I cannot be left in silence. Oh, it's so good. They're all so young. I just washed up until Christina left and usually I start it over after that. Hot take, I like Izzy. And hot take, I like April with Avery. And these are not spoilers because the show has been out for decades. All my clothes are wrinkled because I did my laundry a week ago, but I put them on a chair. I put them on the chair. You know the chair. We all have the chair. Sometimes when that happens, I just want to throw them back in the washer and just start over. There is absolutely nothing I love more than coming home to a clean home. So I did a deep clean of my entire place. I wanted to show you guys, this is my master bathroom. Cleaned it up. Look at all these hangers, you guys. I told you I donated. 10 bags of clothes the other week, I meant it. This is my first closet with my normal regular clothes and then cleaned up my bedroom a little bit. Just, you know, did a, did a good old sweep of the room. Oh, also I used to have my studio and my office be the same room, like where I film my hair TikToks and where I would edit, but I have an extra bedroom. So I decided to make this strictly my studio. So this is where I do my hair, my makeup, all that. This one is still under construction right now. Oh, you go down the hallway. This is the guest bathroom upstairs. It's just, it's always clean because I never go in there. But this is my new little office space that I made. It's like the office space slash guest bedroom. So it just has my desk in it right now and a cute little bed. But yeah, this is my little, my little space. And I was influenced. All the girlies had a base suitcase, so I had to buy one too. Oh, also I forgot to show you downstairs. I was even an overachiever today and I vacuumed the stairs. I know, right? Oh, look, there's Kyle. Living room is so clean. I'm so happy. And my kitchen is my favorite little spot. It's just so cozy. I don't know. Oh, there's Riley eating like always. But anyway, just want to give you a little updated tour. Am I going to LA for possibly only two days? Yes, probably three. And am I going to pack my giant suitcase instead of this one? Absolutely. I live by a saying and it's called, I can never overpack. It's just not a thing. It doesn't exist to me. Also, I got deep, like deep on travel talk. I bought so many things to travel with. Basically, I wanted traveling to be like the least stressful thing that I could ever do because it's always been so stressful for me to travel. I bought all of these things, these little containers that hold all my goodies, like Q-tips, my floss, my pads for my face. This is just filled with pre-workout and um, protein powder sample packs from Ghost. I have these cute little travel slippers that I strictly only wear in hotel rooms. And when I bring them home, I wash them. I have to tell you something. I have little quirks about me. Like I cannot stand hotel bathrooms unless I'm literally staying at the nicest hotel that I've ever been at. I cannot put my feet on the ground. I can't do it unless it's literally so bougie that I feel like it's better and cleaner than my own bathroom. I can't put my feet on the ground. So I also have cute little shower slides in here so I can wear them in the shower and wear them in the bathroom. So my feet basically never have to touch the ground. I don't know, it's a little weird quirk I have. These things I basically just leave in my bag all the time. Like I never have to unpack these because they're strictly for me traveling. And this is why my suitcase is always so full. Oh, hi, Kyle. You're not scared, bud? Oh my goodness, you're being so brave today. Oh, never mind. I overwhelmed the boy. But you guys, I have to show you these things. These are my favorite, favorite things that I found. So I bought these cute little bags. Look, this one says face. This one says skin. This one says hair. And then this one is miscellaneous. Basically what I did is I bought all of my makeup in travel size. That way I don't have to disrupt my makeup. Skin, this is all my skincare. Like I packed little travel sizes of all the skincare. 
a little moisturizer. They're so cute. So basically all I have to do is throw these little bags in there when I'm packing and then I just have to pack my clothes and that's it. And I love that for me. And then I have these cute little containers for shoes and for my clothes. I love it. Okay, one side of my bag packed. Now I have to pack my clothes. And then some of this I'm gonna pack tomorrow too, but I'm gonna do as much as I can right now. I'm packing three little cutesy outfits. It's a dress, a romper, and a skirt with a cute little lacy top. You know, just in case, you always wanna be prepared. Oh, this is see-through. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, well, I have pasties. <laughs> I don't know, what if they take us to dinner tomorrow night or something? I don't know. Got this cute little romper. Also, I could always go shopping there if I need to for something. I don't know. And then these shoes for everything. If they don't go with anything, uh, you know, I don't know what to do. And then I have just this little Kate Spade bag that I always use for everything. I really need to get like a YSL bag or a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> just one. I'm not a designer girl, but I feel like having one is like a man having a nice watch, you know? Every man needs at least one nice watch. And I feel like I need at least one nice bag that I could just take and it's my nice going out bag. I love these packing cubes. It saves so much space and I just feel so much more organized when I go places. I'm already over this. I think I'm gonna finish packing tomorrow because I'm still doing laundry and I have some stuff to pack with that too. Oh, I wanna show you guys what was in my block party box. Cute, we got this cute little hat. It says Young LA on the side. They asked us if we wanted like an oversized tee or a cute baby tee. And I was like, oh, I want the cute baby tees. So this is what the tees look like. This is, sorry. This is the Saturday shirt and then this is the Sunday shirt. It's the same thing. Just in the cream color. Those are so cute. And then a fanny pack. I already have this fanny pack, but cute. Aw, I love it. So cute. Where are you? 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 It's the end of the weekend. But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe you guys, that was one of the best showers I've ever taken. It was so nice, I didn't wanna get out. I love when you don't wanna get out. It's just like, it feels like a warm blanket. Anyway, so got out of the shower, did my little nighttime routine. Let me know if you want a full video with like in-depth details, cause I just took little snippets from it, but I can do a whole long video on it if you want. Also, I'm almost all packed. I finished all my laundry. My whole townhome is clean. I'm officially ready to travel and I don't feel stressed, which is crazy because normally I feel so stressed. So I'm just gonna go to sleep um, and tomorrow we're gonna get on a plane and go to LA. I hope I see you there. Okay, bye.